With the release of Learner 5.1, we added a couple of cool things. And one of them being an easy opt-in to NX, which not only makes your Learner project super fast, but adds a couple other features as well. And we're going to have a look at it now. So how do you opt in? Well, you basically just have to install the NX package and then you go to your Learner JSON and similarly to the use workspaces flag, which you can use there to, for instance, delegate to Yarn workspaces or PNPM or NPM workspaces, there is now a new flag called use NX. And if you set that to true, you will be able to use NX as your task scheduler. But there's more. Let's have a look. So here I have a Learner workspace, which is already using the latest Learner version as well as NX. And I also went ahead of setting the use NX to true, so basically to opt in to NX. And what this gives me is it allows me to still run Learner Run Build or Learner Run Test, for instance, to run the usual Learner commands. But as you can see here from the console output here, it will use NX underneath as the task scheduling option. But there's more to this story. What this also gives us is it allows us to use NX console. Now, NX Console is a Visual Studio plugin, and you can just go and search in a Visual Studio Code marketplace uh, and download and install it here. I have already done it. And so what this gives you is it gives you this icon here on the Visual Studio activity bar. Clicking this allows to start the NX Console extension, which analyzes the local workspace. And based on the scripts that we have in the package JSONs, for instance, if we go here, we see here we have a couple of these scripts in our various applications here in this learner workspace. So NX Console will propose them to you and you can now basically use a visual UI for running these commands rather than using the command line. For instance, I can go ahead and just run the test for the React application. It proposed me a couple of options here. So I can set like how many parallel runs I would want to have if I have multiple applications. And so if I run this, I can see how this run will be executed and shown in the console. Now, the cool thing is also it supports right-click. So I can just go here and say NX run. I want to actually start this and I want to have this basically launch. And so it will run the start script and run it basically in the browser. And this works for all the libraries and all the actions and targets that I have defined here in my workspace. Another very interesting part that comes by opting into NX together with Learner is we can run the project graph now also on Learner workspaces. So I can go ahead here and for instance, use that dependency graph command. And so now if I go to this URL here, it will launch the project graph and it shows here all the projects that I have in my workspace. Now, this is a very simple project graph, but still you can explore and see like things, how the relationships are between the packages, why those exist. In this case, for instance, it's a package JSON. It allows you to group things by the folder. And there's a lot of different options that I can leverage here in a project graph for debugging my workspace, especially if it gets larger and bigger. So again, check out NX console. You can just install it over the marketplace or go to nx.dev, go in the docs and search for NX console. And this will show basically a documentation page of what the various capabilities are, as well as if you don't happen to use Visual Studio Code, there's a WebStone plugin provided by the community. So you can also install that one. As always, make sure you subscribe to your YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter for not missing any cool announcements that we make in the future.